In ancient Egypt, it was believed that oil from a donkey, specifically from its liver, could lead to curing of conditions like night blindness. Was this all snake oil, or were they onto something? Well, as it turns out, they were right. Sort of. Let's talk about that today. Hi, my name is Josh Sang, and usually on this channel, I talk about my personal life stories about living with blindness. But today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So ancient and traditional remedies are something that I am personally not new to. Throughout my entire life, I've been fed many different types of traditional medicine, specifically traditional Chinese medicine, in order to cure my eye conditions. And so I am no stranger to strange remedies and cures uh, that people have tried to use to cure an incurable eye condition. But today we're going to be talking about a very different type of vision impairment and one that actually does have a cure, which is night blindness. And you know, you wouldn't think of night blindness as something that is particularly severe. But in fact, there are many people all over the world who suffer from this problem. Night blindness, and in some severe cases, complete blindness, can be caused by many factors, including malnutrition. And so that leads into the topic that we're going to be discussing today, which is the strange but oddly effective ways some people in the ancient world decided to try to treat conditions like night blindness. So night blindness, as the name implies, is categorized by people's difficulty when it comes to reading in darkness, particularly at night. In ancient Egyptian papyrus from 1500 BC, there are instructions to roast the liver of an ox and take the oil from that to be applied onto the eye in order to cure night blindness. And yet another Egyptian papyrus, this time from 1825 BC, mentions that for a woman who cannot see, eat the raw liver of an ass or a donkey. In Assyrian medical texts from 700 BC, they mentioned night blindness and thought that it was caused by the rays from the moon. And they mentioned that the cure for night blindness was to take the liver of a donkey and put it into the eye. Yikes. Now similar to the Egyptians, they probably didn't put the entire liver into the eye, they probably used the oils. But for the Assyrians and the Egyptians, probably what ended up happening after the application of oil to the eye is that they would eat the liver as well. And by the way, if you're curious where I'm getting my research, there's a really wonderful research journal article that was made by one Dr. Hajar. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, link is in the description below. Continuing the trend of using liver as part of the cures, the Greeks also recommended consuming raw beef liver or goat liver to cure night blindness. In the later Middle Ages, there was even a poem about eating liver to cure night blindness written by a Dutch physician named uh, Jacob van Melen. I uh, hope I got that right. <laughs> the poem goes like this. Who at night does not see right, eats the liver of a goat. He will then see better at night. Classic literature right there, my man. <laughs> but seriously, all these ancient and olden medical texts if these doctors who have their cures for night blindness were soccer fans, I guess they would be <clears throat> Liverpool fans. <laughs> God, I hate myself. <laughs> but in all seriousness, from applying the oil of donkey liver to the eye to consuming raw cow liver, uh, there's a lot of liver here. So were they on to something? Well, as it turns out, the answer is yes. Sort of. So I think it's relatively common knowledge these days that night blindness is caused by a vitamin A deficiency. And as I alluded to earlier, vitamin A deficiencies that lead to night blindness are really not a joke. They affect many people in the world, and in fact vitamin A deficiencies are one of the most common deficiencies in the world. This of course is not so common in rich, developed countries, but very much so is still a problem in many developing nations. According to the World Health Organization, about 190 million preschool aged children in the world and 19.1 million pregnant women in the world suffer from a deficiency in vitamin A. And as mentioned, this can lead to night blindness. 
And so as you can assume by now, the reason why liver is so commonly attributed with curing night blindness is because liver is one of the foods that has a relatively high concentration of vitamin A. In fact, it has so much vitamin A that too much of it can actually cause vitamin A toxicity. But as for the Egyptians and Assyrians who had the idea of rubbing liver oil into their eyes, no, that is not how uh, you cure night blindness. <laughs> Please do not do that. So we now know better that it is the consumption of liver that actually leads to treating night blindness. Once you consume food that is rich in vitamin A and do so consistently, that fixes the nutritional deficiency that causes the night blindness, leading to your ability to see at night once again, which fixes this very minor but very important form of vision impairment. Now, there are several types of vitamin A, and I'll be honest, I'm not going to claim that I'm a doctor or dietitian. I have no idea what these different types of vitamin A are. But what I can tell you is that there are some foods that are rich in vitamin A, and they go as follows. For animal-based food products that are rich in vitamin A, we have dairy products, liver, and fish. And as for plant-based sources of vitamin A, we have things like carrots, dates, cantaloupes, and squash. According to my research, these are the foods that you can consume in order to make sure that you have enough vitamin A to stave off things like night blindness. Now there's much more in the journal article written by Dr. Hajra that I didn't go over in this video because, again, I am not a doctor. <laughs> if you want to read the full article, like I said, the link is in the description below. And hopefully this was a kind of different but fun type of video talking about a different type of blindness than I normally do. Night blindness, like I mentioned earlier, is very important, especially in developing nations. So if there's one thing that we can take away from this video, apart from the value of donkey liver oil, it is to not take our modern diet for granted. So hopefully you enjoyed that video, and if you did, tickle the like button, hit subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can stay informed about my future uploads where I talk about what it's like to live with blindness. And if you want to financially support this channel, you can go to patreon.com slash joshseng, that's J-O-S-H-T-S-E-N-G. There are different tiers of support that you can pledge to, and that would go a long way in helping this channel survive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!